What motivated me in uh, attempting to collect Holocaust material, and I don't say it's Holocaust literature because it's not, it's Holocaust material, was the enormity of the catastrophe. Even when I was a young child, I understood this. I attempted to learn what would motivate a country which was highly sophisticated, such as Germany, to participate in the wholesale destruction of an entire people and the inhumanity which was caused by such destruction. Remember, out of the people that were slaughtered, men, women, and children, how many Einsteins would have been there? How many Jonas Salks would have been there? How many musicians, physicians, doctors, men's of men and women of letters were all ultimately destroyed? These people and their and, and their their, pro, their progeny could, can never ever be replaced because they were entirely uh, destroyed. Now, I am trying to, Molly and I are trying to learn and hope that religious groups of all peoples, their cultures, will have a symbiotic effect and the strength of a multicultural society because as Centennial is concerned what we have there is 80 different uh, racial groups speaking a hundred different languages and this is, was, a, was a great appeal for both Molly and myself to donate the collection outside of traditional Jewish synagogues and groups. And it's, it is our hope that there will be some understanding by these groups as to what can lead to destruction of, a, of people if, it, if racial discrimination is not controlled. As well, we have to be more careful about visible minorities because they can be singled out for discrimination and for prejudice. And that is why we hope that the collection going to Centennial will be a first step in such material being housed there. So, by as I say, by by donating the, the collection to Centennial, we hope we, in our own small way, we will help foster better understanding between peoples of all kind, because in the world today, we have great mistrust of peoples from various uh, region, regional groups for various countries in the Middle East, and uh, we hope that we can, in some way, help to ameliorate the uh, hatred, which is just as rampant today as it was in the 30s.